Cobbler, 24, senior forward. My name is Mary Ann Freeman. I'm number 21. I'm a junior. I'm a forward. Bailey Kahn, 11, junior guard. Hannah Hall, 22, junior guard. Jordan Moore, number 22, junior forward. Kendra Donaldson, number 32, sophomore forward. Taylor Tinney, number 12, sophomore guard. I'm Allie Smith, number four. I'm a sophomore, I'm a guard. Lily Gentry, 14, sophomore forward. Abby Richardson, 33, freshman forward. Macy Stockdale, 23, freshman forward. Audrey Peel, 13, freshman, guard. Jersey Trigg, 2, freshman, guard. Shiloh Hunt, 15, freshman, guard. And you're watching RTC TV 4. And you're watching RTC TV 4. And you're watching RTC TV 4. You're watching RTC TV 4. Welcome, Warrior Nation, to RTC TV4. I'll be your play-by-play, -play, Jacob Sherboff, and behind the camera computer for us tonight is again uh, Colton Tolliver. Uh, we got a great uh, match here for us tonight between the Lady Warriors and uh, the Northfield uh, Vikings here. Uh, it should be a good game. This is uh, for a competitive spot here for an advantage in the TRC. Uh, currently, both girls' teams have had a nice start or midway through the season for them, and uh, they're a four-way tie right now for the TRC. Um, so one one will fall back into uh, the leadings for trying to go for first or tie up for first, and the other will stay in contention there with uh, Tippy Valley and Manchester. Uh, but so we should have a great game ahead of us um, for Northfield. Uh, Melissa Allen. Uh, this is she is 60 and 29 in her fourth year at Northfield, and then Lori working 14 and three in her first year at, at here at North Miami in her first year in general. Um, let's see, the last outing Northfield defeated Mississinawal 54-37, and the Warriors defeated Lewis Cass 53-24. Um, all time in the series, Northfield has the lead over the Warriors 15 to four. Uh, the last time they met, uh, Northfield won 53 to 50, and that was around. They played around the exact same time last year. Uh, tonight they have Northfield winning 59 to Warriors 37, so it should be a pretty heavily favored game, I guess, for Northfield as the prediction. But hopefully we can see the Warriors come out, play games that they hope to play, and go out there and really try to win this one. They really good. And Give good effort out there. Marion Freeman getting all the rebounds. And then Hannah Hull and Bailey Kime do a good job of working it around and just finding the open person to make good shots. As we will come within a minute here and we will get ready to start up the whole thing. Meet the lineups. Anthem. And we will get ready for the anthem, and I will go ahead and put down the mic. At this time, we'll take a moment to honor our great country and all those who have served and sacrificed for all of us. With a plate of national anthem by the North Atlantic from the
Nice job by the Warrior Band, and we will meet the Northfield starting lineup first. A senior wearing number 15, Ariel Dale. A senior wearing number 15, Allie Kutaber. Senior wearing number 22, Kelsey Thompson. Sophomore wearing number 25, Kyra Kennedy. Rounding out the lineup, a sophomore wearing number 33, Addie Baker. The Lady Norris are coached by Coach Melissa Allen. Now it's Meet the Warrior lineup. Miami Lady Warriors. Scholars for this evening. Sophomore, rank 32, Kendra Donaldson. Junior, rank number 31, Anna Hall. Junior, rank number 21. With that, we will get ready for tip-off here. Number 25, Kennedy to tip-off for Northfield and Freeman to tip-off for the Warriors. Northfield gets the tip. Looks inside. Warriors trying to get up and set in the man. Shot is no good there by Dale. Rebounded by Northfield. Back over to Dale. Goes over to Kennedy. Goes back to Dale. Thompson with it. Sorry, Thomas. Turnover there for Northfield and time to bring it up for the Warriors. Over to Tenney. Passes it to Hall. Drives the lane, loses the ball. Northfield going the other way with it. Goes up to Kennedy. Gets it to go in and a foul. She'll go to the line and shoot one. That was on Bailey Kine. Kennedy's shot is no good. Tinney back out to Kine there. Kine drives the lane, shoots a two-point shot, gets it tipped. Foul will be on Kendra Donaldson. Over there, Kennedy back to Dale. Dale with it, tries to drive the lane. Goes over to Thomas. Dale back with it. Warriors switched their defense there to a 2-3 zone. Had a little bit of a man before that. The corner down low to Dale, goes across over to Kennedy. Shot is good. Five, Kennedy, two. 
Hall just over the head of Tenney and it goes into Northfield's hand. Be another turnover on the Warriors. So it's no good there. Kime with it. Over to Hall. Hall gives it to Tenney. And another turnover there on the Warriors. Dale to take it to the other end and make the layup. And with that, the Warriors will take a timeout and we will be back after a quick break. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Enjoy the game with an ice cold Coke. Locally owned and operated since 1907, Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 high schools in North Central Indiana. Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. And we're back here with five minutes and 34 seconds here in the first. Be Warriors ball. Northfield to press here. It'll be off of foot there, Northfield. It'll stay Warriors ball. Hall and bounds it there to Freeman. Goes back to Hall. Foul is on Dale, her first, team's first. Time with it. Goes over to Hall. Calling the Freeman. Northfield into a man here. Able to get it there to Freeman, barely. Freeman throws the pass there to Tenney. She's fouled. Foul again on Dale, her second. <laughs> Interesting pass in there by Hall. Bounced it off the back of one of the defenders. Shot there was no good by Tenney. Almost rebounded there by Freeman, but unable to get it. The shot was no good there. And they say North Northfield ball underneath. Thompson with it. Goes over to Key Favor. Goes down low to Kennedy and her she is fouled on her shot. Go to the line and shoot two. Fouls on the Freeman. Kennedy's first is good. Second is no good. Time with it, goes back to Hall. Hall tried to go up to the shot there and hands kind of got tangled, nothing was called. Hall 
Hall with a deep three, no good. Rebounded by Northfield, pass up to Kennedy. Two point shots, no good. Rebounded by Freeman. Kime loses the ball, passes up back to Kennedy. And Hall is able to go meet Kennedy's shot and they're gonna call a jump ball on it and it'll be Warriors ball. Hall to inbound it, goes to Freeman. He goes back to Hall. And the uh, pass there was just a little uh, chaotic. No one in the area. We're just trying to get trapped there in the middle. Nothing's working for him. Time trying to get after the ball, unable to. Time able to steal the ball, goes the other end. No good. Foul will be on the floor. That was on key favor. Her first. Pass about it to Kime. Shot is no good there. And it'll stay Warriors ball as it bounced off of one of the Northfield players. Freeman over to Tenney. Tenney with the shot, no good. Rebounded by Northfield. Thompson went to bring it up. He's over to Key Favor. Passes it over to Hoover. Key Favor loses the ball. Stay Northfield ball. Cobbler in for Donaldson for the Warriors. Thompson with it, or Kennedy. Skip pass there over to Kennedy down low. Good, good look there, unable to get in, but able to get her own rebound. That shot was no good, rebounded by Tenney. Skip pass up to Hall, and then Kennedy able to get that. Pass over, loses the ball. Kennedy able to say it, save it, but it goes to a Warrior. Warrior's going the other way. Good pass by Kime to Tenney, and she loses it. It'll be off of Northfield and stay Warrior's ball. Hall to inbound it. Inbound it to Tenney, loses it. Cobbler puts up a shot, it's no good. Inside pass there to Baker. Key favor with it. Shot is no good. Kennedy able to rebound it. Hoover with it. Goes over to Key favor. Warriors trying to extend their 2 3 there. Pass about to the middle to Kennedy. Key favor with the 3. No good. Rebounded by Cobbler. Foul, I believe, beyond Hoover. Yep, foul will be on Hoover. And we will have a timeout here by Northfield, 30 second timeout. And with that, we will be back after a quick break. 
At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. And we're back with a minute 19 left here in the first. Northfield seven, Warriors nothing. So far been a pretty defensive game. Uh, Warriors turned the ball over more times than they probably have liked to and honestly haven't just gotten shots to fall their way. Uh, see if they can't get something in before the end of the first quarter. Uh, hauled in, bound it for the Warriors. I'll drill it up over to Keim. He was inside for a shot, and it is good. Thompson over to Hoover. Thompson driving the lane, goes back out to Kennedy, goes over to Hoover, down to Baker. Able to get the pass there to Thompson, and she puts up a shot, and we have a charge there called on uh, 22 Thompson. Dale back into the lineup for Northfield. Loses the ball there. Northfield going the other way. Dale with it. He goes over to Key Favor. Dale with the ball. Key Favor goes to Kennedy. That'll be a travel on Kennedy. Stout enters the lineup for Northfield. Time to bring it across for the Warriors. Time picks up her dribble there, able to get it into Freeman. Loses the ball in the exchange there. And last second shot there is good by Hoover. And with that, Northfield will Lead it here in nine to the Warriors two, and we will be back after a quick break. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. And we're back getting ready to start the second quarter here. So far the case has been the Warriors turnovers. Usually done a really good job of uh, keeping the ball in the hands and not turning the ball over to the other team. Uh, so far in that first quarter officially got them with uh, five turnovers. Hopefully the girls can find a way to turn that around and get points on the board. They only got uh, one shot to fall for them off a of Kime from a short eight foot shot there. Um, hopefully the Warriors can get some better shots and get shots to fall for them. The Northfield here. Dale to bring it across for the ladies. Corner with it. Dale's shot is good. Kime with it. Goes over to Tenney. Back out the hall. 
Shot is no good. They'll bring it the other way. The corner there to Stout. Goes over to Hoover. Shot by Key Favors, no good. Rebounded by Baker. And her shot is good. Time down to Hall. Tini tries to drive the lane and loses the ball. And then Northfield turns around and loses it. And then the Warriors turn around and lose it there. A couple of chaotic plays back to back to back. Thompson to bring it across. Hoover with it. It's over Thompson. Keefe were trying to look for someone and fortunate there for Hoover. Just try to go in and cut there and Keefe ever didn't anticipate that and the ball was just out of reach there. The Warriors ball. Hall with it. Picks up the dribble, looking for someone. Able to get it off to Kime before five seconds called. And Tinney will travel there. We're over to Thompson. Make it worth a shot, and it is good. Time to bring it up. Over top to Freeman. Hands off to Hall. Back to Freeman to Kendra Donaldson. Loses the ball there. The Norses are going the other way. Key favor over to Hoover. Thompson with it. Warriors switch their defense here to a man to man defense, trying to see if they can't stop him. Shot is no good there by Thompson. Hall with it. Picks up her dribble. I'm somehow able to keep her dribble. Jump ball there to stay Warriors ball, but Kime just had that pass go behind her and she was down on her knees, but able to keep her dribble while on her knees and get the pass to Donaldson. Great effort there by Kime. Hall can't get it in to anybody, able to finally get it in there to Tenney. Hall drives the lane. Shot is no good, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. Foul was on Ross. First is no good for Hall. Second is good. Quickly getting back to it is Northfield trying to find an open spot there. Hoover with it. Over to Keefe Haver. 
Back to Hoover inside to Baker to Kennedy. Shot by Hoover. Shot was no good and it'll go off of Northfield and be Warriors ball. And we will have a 30 second timeout here by the Warriors and we will be back after a break. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And we're back with 3.58 here in the second. Northfield 16, Warriors 3. Again, so far it's been the case the first half here for the Warriors not being able to get some shots to fall for them. And Northfield, you know, they could have a few complaints, but with the lead, you know, they're happy with where they're at. Time to bring it up for the Warriors. Kime to Freeman. Freeman almost loses the ball, able to retain possession. Kime with the three, and it is good. Hoover over to Ross. A lot of passes trying to get someone open by Northfield. Ross to Key Favor. Inside to Kennedy. Should be fouled and go to the line and shoot two. That was on Hannah Hall. First shot is good by Kennedy. Second shot is just no good there for Kennedy. Rebounded back by Northfield. It'll be a jump ball. The Northfield's ball underneath. Rebounded to Kennedy. Over to Baker. Inside wide open there was Stout. Time with it. Two point shot and it is good. Let's get pass over there to Thompson. Over to Ross. To Kennedy. Baker over to Stout. Over to Thompson. Drives the lane. Wide open there was Ross and has her shot blocked by Hall. We off a Hall and stay Northfield ball. Thompson inbounded it there to Baker. Baker makes a Baker makes a move there and able to get the shot to go. Freeman with it. Loses it. Kime able to save it. Out to Hall. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Northfield. Stout drives the lane, puts up a shot, and it just rolls in. Time to Tinney. Tinney to Hall. Oh, 
Go back to Kime. Kime with the shot, and it is good. No one there to help Northfield at first. So we're able to come back. Thompson with it. Back to Ross. Ball bounces off a couple of players. Call a foul on Thompson for a push. Hoover enters the lineup for Northfield. Oh, Tenney will go to single bonus here, so she'll have a one and one. Shot is no good there by Tenney, but able to get the rebound. Shot is no good there. Almost rebounded back by the Warriors. Uh, passes there by Northfield. Hoover with it. Goes back to Stout. Shot is no good. Rebounded by Donaldson. Kind pass over to Hall. Hall with the two point shot, and it is good. Hoover to bring it across. Stout with it, loses the ball. Call a jump ball to be Warriors ball. Kind of hard to see there with uh, the student section. Kime will bring it up for the Warriors. They have about 10 seconds to work with here. Get the last shot off of the half. Over to Hall. Three seconds to work with. Loses the ball. It'll be a jump ball with 0.1 seconds. Be Northfield's ball. Warriors going to try to press, make sure they can't get a shot off. And they won't. And that'll be the first half here. Warriors 12, Northfield 23. And we will be back after a halftime break. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Enjoy the game with an ice cold Coke. Locally owned and operated since 1907, Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 high schools in North Central Indiana. Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. 
Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years. We're now offering commercial loans to support our local businesses. We offer business loans for real estate, equipment, lines of credit, and investments. We also offer simply free business checking for all your banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation. And we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. 
please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Enjoy the game with an ice cold Coke. Locally owned and operated since 1907, Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo proudly supports 28 high schools in North Central Indiana. Our starting lineup of brands are sure to keep you hydrated on the sidelines and at home. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Kokomo. RTC TV4 thanks you for watching tonight's broadcast. Sponsorship and advertising opportunities are available and free production is included with every sponsorship package. If you are seeing this, then your customers are seeing it too. RTC TV4, see for yourself. Please support the local sponsors who make this production possible. And we're back here with a minute 20 at halftime. Uh, so far, Northfield 23, Warriors 12. Uh, you know, it's been a case of turnover so far for the Warriors, something that the, they usually don't have, able to keep the hand, uh, ball in their hands. And I also, just real quick, want to say we got a match storm for a color commentator coming up to join me here at halftime. <laughs> Happy to help you out, Jacob. Uh, welcome back. And uh, I didn't see a whole lot of the first half. What I did see early on, the Warriors did have some good looks that were just in and out. They had, I, I saw three or four shots, and I was only in here for probably half of the first half, and that, that were just right on the rim and wouldn't drop for us. Uh, yeah, that's and, luck has not been on the side the ball has just literally looked like it's going to yeah. go halfway through and then just roll out i will give credit where credit is due northfield's defense is very impressive to me uh, of the of the girls games i've seen this year they are easily the best defensive team uh they and i've been really impressed with what i've seen on the offensive end their spacing is perfect their offensive scheme seems fairly simple but I mean, they work really well together, and uh, we got our hands full tonight with this with this visiting uh, uh, ball club. And, yeah, we got a little bit of a deficit to come back through the second half, but it's not the biggest one that the girls have come back from. They've actually came back from that 16.1 there from Peru at the tournament, uh, the Miami tournament that happened over break. So Yeah, Warriors ball to start the half. Let's see if we can get off on the right foot here. Uh, it's always important to start start each frame uh, well on both ends of the floor. That means we get some points on this possession. Tenney can't get it to drop in the lane. See how our transition defense goes as the long rebound comes out to 13. Forgive hey. me on some of these names. Yeah. Dale. Yeah, it's Dale. Know. She's She had a fantastic game last, uh, the previous meeting against Mississippi. Kind of been quiet so far, and that's something that Kimes has been able to do is play head-to-head -head on her, and we're going to get a foul there on Hall. Did you cover uh, some scoring at halftime? I, I checked the book before I came up. Uh, no, I didn't uh, cover anything D for halftime. Dale had five at half. Uh, Clark had six. Um, Baker was six. Hoover with two, and Stout with four for Northfield. The Warriors are in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. See if that changes up uh, the scheme at all from the Norse. And they do, they, do they a lot of the passing. They the ball so well. Yeah. I mean, it, it, all their passes are 12 to 15 feet apart. That's exactly what you want and um, it, schematically. And they're just I'm impressed with how well they seem coached. 
and they really like to try to feed it into that post and try to get that inside out shot. Uh, the, a lot easier to seem to get threes to go in when you get that inside out pass. Yeah, Marianne almost came up with the steal there. Just that's kind of the the way it's gone tonight for the Warriors. Couldn't couldn't get the possession. Just knocked it out of bounds instead. And Baker with the shot there. Gets the finish there. That's Baker. For the Warriors, uh, scoring was pretty simple at halftime. Uh, Kime had nine and Hall had three. <laughs> Again, a, a compliment to the defensive effort of foul. Northfield. Foul will be on Baker there. Hall, Hall was fouled on the way up. She'll go to the line and shoot two on that one. You know, going to the free throw line is a great way to get in rhythm. So maybe we can see the ball drop a couple times here. And, you know, momentum is a powerful thing uh, athletically. If you, a couple things start going right, it, it can get exciting here. It is only a 12-point ball game. There's, you know, there's 15 minutes of basketball left, basically. Yeah, that's plenty of time to make a comeback. And yeah, she did, as you were talking about that, making both of them. Now we got to follow it up with a stop. We're staying with the one-three-one look here. And Dale goes over to Keyfaver, and Keyfaver's heel must have just hit that out of bounds. So it'll be a turnover on Northfield. That's what the Warriors need here. And if we get a bucket here, then it, the lead gets underneath uh, double digits, and you know, and the crowd maybe can get back in it a little bit. You, again, that's what we're looking for, man-to-man -man here. By the, by the Northfield Norse. Most of the game that I've seen here and the Warriors continue with, uh, with kind of a dribble weave uh, and there's a travel on Tenney to give the ball back to Northfield. Those turnovers that you mentioned when I first jumped on, that's a good example of how that kills the momentum there. I mean, that's been like, they've done a good job of not turning it over pretty much all year this year. And so far here, they've had more turnovers in the first half than they've really had an entire game Yeah. from uh, the stats that I've kept over the season. Uh, Thompson over here trying to dribble against Hall and she kind of gets the ball poked out over on the side. Falls down, but able to pass it out before she hits the ground to Baker. She goes inside of Kennedy. Man, she's athletic. She has made a lot of athletic shots, and Baker tried to go for the shot. It'll be foul, I believe, on Hall. That's on 31 Hall, her third. Oh, that is her third already. It's number three, so I have to be smart here. That's two already in this quarter. Yeah, Baker's, yeah, she's got both of them for us this half. Baker's got a nice shot, but it's off the back iron, and uh, she misses the first. And this is her first time at the line tonight. 22 Thompson, Kelsey Thompson jumps in the lane and lets 25 uh, Kennedy go talk with the coach just briefly. Second shot there was good. Oh, Northfield's uh, looks like they've switched to a 2-3 zone. It's a little higher than most. The guards are above, well above the three-point line to start with. Marion's got to get going. That's a nice, strong take. Good defensive play. Yeah, you got to call it. That's four on Hannah. Good aggressive play going after the ball, but that's that's contact, and even though it's in an inadvertent, um, that's going to be her fourth foul. I think Coach Working is probably need, going to need to pull her. There's too much time left, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. And I think just what's leading to all these fouls that she's gotten all here in the third is she's just getting a little frustrated with her shot and the ball not going in mm -hmm. that she's used to. But it's just like, you know, that ball's got a mind of its own a lot of times and it just keeps rattling its way out so far for the Warriors. As Dale tries to drive the lane, she goes back to Baker and she goes to Thompson. And this is what they've been able to do is just kind of find yeah. those open lanes. Right. If you notice this, that, that move right there was three dribbles. And no one had taken any more than two on that entire possession up to that point. They just sh they share the ball very well. And they have done a great job of that this whole game, too. And working it around is like, I guess, sharing is caring. <laughs> but uh, th they've been able to do a good job. But... With that, they're gonna take a full time out. We'll be back after a quick break. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. 
a team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. And we're back here with 4 minutes and 49 seconds in the third. Northfield 26, Warriors 14. Uh, so far, you know, both teams only have a turnover each so far in the third is what I got them at. Uh, so it's just more been like defensive a battle really at this point because this is a pretty low scoring game for the girls. This, I, I think on the prediction thing that I had on the John Harrell app, they had them in the 50s or, yeah. for the night. We still may get there again if these teams get going, but uh, we, we knew that both of these teams were good defensively. Right. And so I think this was a possibility. Um, but uh, Well, another it, thing that the There's Warriors, still 15 minutes left to play. We may end up in the 40s or, or close to what they predicted. Nice little play to get Kime the ball in the corner. She finds a bounce pass to Marianne. Marianne across the lane to Tinney. Well executed play out of the timeout. And it's just 10 points. We've got a ball game still. It's 1-3-1 one, one on this end. And Northfield's going to move this ball. Thompson over to Dale. She's with a two-point shot. No good. Rebounded by Baker. She good loses the ball. Rebound. To the rim. Up to Tenney. Drives it in and she nice. is fouled. Nice. Here we go. We got a chance to cut it to eight here with two made free throws. That is a foul on Kennedy. I believe that's only her first. Kennedy, her first. Yeah, that is only her first of the game. Got a great crowd tonight. The Dan's Fish and Chicken Dinner, uh, an FFA-sponsored event, was in the cafeteria this evening. And, uh, man, we've, we've really got a lot of folks here. The student section looks strong. Uh, you know, the band is taking a break this quarter, but they've, they've sounded excellent. It's alumni night for the band. And uh, really a neat evening here at North Miami. Tenney hits both, and it's an eight-point ball game. We'll see if we can keep the momentum rolling here. And they're 100% from the line when previously they were only just about 50% at the line uh, in the first half. So they've really turned it around there when you – got to the stripe. Yeah, a little different look here. This is more of a 2-3 look instead of the 1-3-1 one, we've seen recently. And uh, Thompson is going to go over to key favor to Dale for a three. It's just off. And, you know, she's seen numbers, just off two today, on too. One. Tenney's going to take it up hard with the left. They didn't call a foul. Cobbler able to get after it. Somehow nice gets a lucky bounce Good there to cut Donaldson. cut by Kime. Oh, they need to call that there. So, I... I mean, and the reason they didn't is because the, the defender was in a proper position and, you know, Bailey was a little bit off balance, cutting hard to the basket. Right. I, I understand a no call, although it seemed like we could have had one there. And Kaim able to just reach up and snatch that out of the air. Little on balance shot there and little off. Yeah, she's having to work really hard for everything tonight. And uh, I think I'd like to see her slow down a little bit, start with a ball fake, and see if that helps her get a step here. Key favor is gonna start with it for Northfield. You know, I think this is more of a matchup zone. Um, again, it follows some of the similar concepts of a typical 2-3. But we got a three-point attempt by 22. She knocks Thompson it down. and she does get it to go. That's the second three made by Northfield. That's a nice shot. Very little extra movement. She just put it right on her chin, went right to the basket, dropped it in. Nice pass back to Hall. A good shot fake there. I didn't know if she traveled, but I am blocked by the student section there. Yeah, it's I, I couldn't hard. see her feet. Yeah, but when they put up those big heads too, you really can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But typically Hannah Hall, I've seen that head fake in in ball dribble uh, combo a lot from her, and typically she's pretty fundamental with it. Thompson goes over to Dale. Trying Bailey's, to look in. Kime's got a count over there, but uh, Northfield gets it, gets it passed off here. This is a rare possession for them in which they did not get a reversal. Still some pretty solid ball movement with some exchanges on the perimeter and then a post feed. Uh, nice, nice set for or nice possession for them. Kenny skip pass over to Kime. Tries to go inside to Freeman and she loses the ball. Ooh, she walked. Abby Richardson's been impressive to me tonight too. She's just really solid. Seems to be very strong with the ball. 
thought she got away with the walk uh, initially there, but tonight she's looked uh, very confident again and steady, as has the whole team in blue. And that foul there nice was on cut. time. Nice cut to the basket by number 13. That was Dale. Dale. They, they didn't quite get her the ball. On the inbounds play, the Warriors have switched to man-to-man. -to -man. Good help by, by Kime, and she was pulled after getting the steal by 13, Dale. That's on Dale. It leads, right it leads 13 at the moment here. We got 143 left. That's her third. So the, we, we talked about starting the quarter the right way, and, and here's the end of the quarter. The last couple minutes here, you know, if we can really finish strong and go into the final frame with maybe an eight or nine point deficit within striking distance there, it can really do wonders for um, our confidence there. And you know, one thing that the Warriors have really made a signature of is that press that they always do of like a 3-1-1, but they really haven't been able to run that so far tonight. There's another turnover, rare turnover. And then uh, by Hannah Hall, and then they get it pushed up the floor in 25. That's Kyra Kennedy with the finish. Kyme up top with it, goes over to Hall. And they've... Nice back cut and bounce pass, and we got a trip call. Hard fall by Tenney. Tenney's pretty tough, though, isn't she? Yeah, she really is. She's... And you know, she is always given like 100% effort diving for that ball when it hits the floor. Yeah, she's quite the athlete. So she's, she's gonna bounce right back up after a fall like that. Inbounds play to the senior, Kate Cobbler, over to Kime. Kime dribbles across and leaves it for Tenney. The jump shot's off. Kennedy with the rebound. She's gonna push it herself up the floor. Warriors recover well on defense. And Northfield begins moving the ball. And uh, now they've done a good job of that. Thompson gets it into Kennedy, and she usually just takes that one all the way. I'm surprised she didn't do it that one. And Hoover with the shot, and it nice. is good. All right. See, rather than us be finishing this quarter like we wanted to, Northfield's stopped just twice and hit two buckets. Instead of trimming this lead, it's uh, they're, they're growing it. Let's see if we can finish with the last shot here. Maybe see the ball go through in the hoop before we Oop. Hall head loses back it to again. The bench. Good hustle. Be jump ball. It'll be Northfield's ball. 8.3. I'd like to see the Warriors pick them up here a little bit. Not not let them do something simple. Kime's going to pick her up about half court, 22. Oh, she coughed it up. Hannah's going to get the last shot. Two, one, three-pointer on the way. It's off. No good. So going into the fourth quarter here, and it's a 17-point lead, Northfield. And, uh, you know, it hasn't been the start and fin or really finish that they're hoping for here, but they'll be able to hopefully turn it around here in the fourth. And with that, at the end of the quarter, we will be back after a quick break. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> And there was one more bucket. And uh, we're, we're back here getting ready to start I'm, the fourth. I'm missing two points. I can't figure out who that was, though. But uh, I would expect to see the Warriors break out the, the full court press here. You know, they're, you're down to eight minutes of basketball. And it's, it's not over. I mean, there's, there's lots of possessions, especially when you increase the pace of the game with a press like the Warriors will probably do here. Um, uh, you know, but Northfield has just been very strong and confident with that ball, so I anticipate that they're going to be able to handle that pressure when it comes. Uh, North Miami ball to start, see if we can get it off on the right foot. 1-3-1 one, one defense by Northfield here. They've got an athlete on top in Kennedy. Kime over to Hall, into Freeman, back out to Kime, open three. That's how, ooh, I thought she hit it. 
And again, that's just another shot that's just rolled off for him. Over to Stout with the shot, and it's no good. Rebounded just over the head of uh, Cobbler there was Kennedy. She's just got a nose for that ball. I mean, Cobbler did a great job on the box out. Turn over there off Northfield. Kaim with it. Good, strong take. And that's the way to get to the line is to force them to turn the ball over, push the ball quickly, get get baskets. And if you can't get baskets, get to the free throw line because that's some spot. That's the spot where we can score points with the clock stopped. That's how you inch your way back into a game like this. Just got to knock them down. Got to knock the free throw down. And, and when you knock the free throw down, especially the second one uh, that's coming up here for Bailey Keim, you got a chance to set your press now, mm -hmm. which you, you increase the, the chances of it, of it being more effective at that point. And Can't get either no one good. to drop. It's been a rough night for the Warriors just getting making the normal plays that we make, like a free throw. Hoover good defense. I like how we're moving our feet down here. North Kine Bailey Kimes going to go for that. Push it down. Up strong with the left hand. No call. Marianne Freeman's got the rebound. It's going to go up again. Man, these girls are fighting hard for this ball. That's the type of hustle and the scrappiness you would expect to see between two teams like this. Uh, you know. Well, that is the fifth foul there. Sorry. Yeah, no, On you're fine. Yeah. So she realized done. there's almost 30 wins already this season on the floor tonight. These, oh yeah, this, you're right. You know, the, and that that play shows you what you expect to see when you get two teams that are are winning and being highly competitive. They really get after it. Kaim almost able to get in there and poke it out. Hoover gets it off. Thompson with it tries to drive in. She'll get fouled on the play. Marianne is uh, jumping in excitement. She really <laughs> thought that she had that one cleanly. And that, that's okay. 22 is going to go to the line. That's Kelsey Thompson. You know, this, even though, you know, what we're going to try to do to, to narrow this gap in the fourth quarter is going to be more difficult without a guard like Hannah Hall out here. This is still an excellent opportunity. You know, my eyes are on Kendra Donaldson, you know, a, a key player for us that didn't even play basketball last year. She's been huge for the Warriors this year, had a great year. I want to see how she does against this competition. Tenny as well. I, my eyes are on those girls and nice anticipation there by Freeman and the finish. Now here's a little spark. Here's a little spark. Let's see if we can get something rolling here. Nice defensive play by Marianne Freeman. Stout able to get a pass there to Baker. A little Shots miscommunication on defense down there. There's Donaldson again. She out hustled the Northfield player for that, that rebound. The, this is where you really see what kind of character your team's got. And I like what I see thus far. Good scrappiness there. We're going to sprint back on defense. Tenney's going to get in front of her in with her hands up. Good try there. She, nice finish by Dale. They typically say good offense always beats good defense. And that's a, that was a good play there. Good hustle by Tenney to recover and get her hands up. But Dale was able to finish. Good play on her part. And uh, with that we, timeout, we will be back after another quick break. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP. And we're back with six minutes in the fourth. Northfield 38, Warriors 20. Warriors will begin with the ball, and Kime will have it in, or Tinney will inbound it to Kime. 2 3 zone on Northfield's part. Nice hands on 34's part. That's Emma Hoover who gets the deflection, who, uh, which caused us to, to deflect it ourselves out of bounds. Northfield ball. That's why deflections count. That is make correct. They make it hard to do the simple pass and catch of the game. I believe. Uh, Hoover with it. 
I love Northfield's pace on offense. They're not, I mean, I think of the John Wooden quote of, you know, uh, you need to you need to hurry, but not rush, you know? Uh, right. Or they, they move quickly, but they're, they're not rushing. Um, their, their moves are timed well, but when they make them, they make them decisively and they, they cut hard. Times deep threes, no good. There's but Donaldson, Donaldson again, yep. offensive rebound, putting it in. That's key. Thompson with it too. That's a sophomore that's that's maturing in this opportunity here. Nice shot, shot by, by 42 Stout. Stout. Yeah, Stout seems so deep. They seem like they've got so many players. That, I mean, who's their best player? I mean, with what I've seen, I can't tell you. Well, they, so far tonight, it's been uh, that uh, Baker, Addie Baker. She's had a heck of a night rebounding. And you know, and my point is that they just have so many girls yeah. that can, can do a lot of good things. They, I mean, they all are pretty sure with the ball. Um, they're pretty fundamental from what I've seen. They, you know, they look confident as they dribble and shoot. Their form looks solid. I mean, they, they just look like a solid ball club. Shot by Hoover, no good. Rebounded by, almost rebound. Oh, oh able to get it there and get yeah. the pass to Kime. That's just grit on Marianne's part, Kime. Nice, smart move. She saw Dale set up on defense and establish her position. She said, oh, if I keep going, that's going to be a charge. And she opted to, to head right, uh, avoid avoid the charge. Uh, she still draws some contact and gets fouled. She's on the free throw line. It's a 20-point deficit, though, and four, four minutes, 20 seconds left. It's not like Bailey to miss free throws like she has tonight. And she's 0 for 3 so far tonight. And part of that, you know, I mentioned her having to work for everything tonight because Northfield's so tough defensively. Mm -hmm. That That's why she's missing her free throws, honestly. Yeah. Um, oh, it, makes her first. Yeah, you're a little extra tired, a little extra winded than you normally are on that free throw line. It's harder to make those shots. It's all connected. Passes over to Hoover. Still trying to Good drive it in on lane Cutler's there. Part. Way to move her feet and cut her off there. Marianne plays well. I, I still like the Warriors' defense here. Even Keith though Northfield's it. been impressive tonight, the, the Warriors have an excellent defensive team as well. Freeman going to go All the coast way. to coast, and she gets it to go. Kaim, the only one up there to help press. 17-point lead here, down to three and a half. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, if we're going to have a shot here, that we can't let them uh, take as much time with these possessions. Let's get pass over to Baker. And Northfield's kind of moving into. They're fundamental enough that they, they can. We're kind of at their mercy right now. Um, they Nice shot, shot by Keith Aber there. They've been able to handle our pressure for the most part. 2-3 zone. By Northfield, Tenney's going to pass it across to Cobbler. Kime's on the baseline. We've got Donaldson in the high post. Kime comes up to get the ball. And Thompson's been, when they go to a man, Thompson's been on Kime all night, and she's played pretty good defense on her. Been really, I think they uh, might have watched some film before when uh, the Peru game, like they were really up in uh, Bailey right up close on her, and that's, you know, I, that's, Cobbler is going to take the three. And knock oh, it down. she gets it to go. Big shot by the senior. That is her first Good three of the year there. there. Yeah. Timeout by nice Northfield. There. Nice shot, Kate Cobbler. Um, and with that, we will be back after another quick break. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors Evans Agency in Rochester offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently. 
And we're back with 232 in the fourth. Be Northfield's ball underneath. Inbounded there to Hoover. See, this is where, yeah, I I love I love what we've seen in handling this so far, but yep, and this is they they just showed us they were willing to kill this clock, and we responded by coming out and getting on them. That's what we want to do. We want to keep competing. Yeah, they switched to more of like that man-to-man, -man, get right up on them. The, when, when you play a good basketball team, you are able to get – that is better than practice. That is so much better than practice and an, an opportunity to get better. So you, you want to compete to the very end, even if, even if it's going to be tough to – close the gap and, and get this win. Time. You know, I'll point out, you know, we mentioned that shot by Cobble right before uh, the break there, and uh, she's our only senior. Um, yeah, this is true. There's a lot of 12s on the <laughs> roster over here by uh, by Northfield. Well, and with saying that, One, that's two, a... One, two, three, four, five, there's five of them, five seniors on Northfield squad. So. Well, with saying that, I mean, like, the Warriors are such a young team, but, like, they can build off of this for next year, and Really Absolutely. put that to it for next year. Yeah, and again, that's what I'm talking about. Having faced a, a, a longer, athletic, fundamental, really solid basketball team like Northfield, they're they're going to be that much better. This is going to this can still be a positive experience for us. It will be interesting. On that note, as the season starts to wind down, it's crazy that it's January and the you yeah. know, the girls' schedule is starting to wind down. But that's Freeman with the finish. Nice pass by Tenney there, making that basket happen. Another foul there on Kime. That's her fourth. But uh, it'll be interesting to see. The girls have had, the Warriors have had a lot of success this year. Um, almost a lot of people would argue unanticipated success after so many girls left from last year's roster. Right. Um, I, I'd like to point out that I, I, I knew – uh, the, these girls were going to compete just fine, but but they've had some success this year, right? You know they've got Northfield, they've got uh, an Oak Hill team that's extremely tough. Will they be able to stay, you know, mentally um, where they need to be heading into sectional uh, right. as we as we wind things down? Um, and with that, we got a 30 second to a full timeout, and we will be back after another break. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. That's just, yeah. that's it. Uh, we're back. So, Northfield's on the line here. They're up 16. There's a minute 18 left. That band is loud, and they sound awesome. They haven't given up hope. Uh, this is going to be almost impossible to pull off at this point, but the Warriors are still playing hard. We've got uh, Hunt in the ball game, number 15. She played well in the JV game earlier tonight. Time to bring it across. Goes over to Tenney. Now we know Coach Working's not one to just run out this last minute. She still wants to see the girls improve Absolutely. and keep going she for it. She wants to squeeze, nice shot. Mike she wants to squeeze every ounce out of this game that she can because she but she knows what I was talking about earlier about how these experiences are are invaluable for for your ball club especially when you're young you you can learn so much competing against a good ball club Hoover is going to go to the line and shoot still one and one 13 point lead here 48 seconds 34 is going to miss it. Kimes got it. She's going to push it up hard on the right side. She pulls up for three, misses that one. The ball's still bouncing around. Northfield's got it. 34's bringing it up. That's Hoover. 
apologize I don't have these names down. I yeah. jumped on here a little late. I didn't have time to study, you know? Yeah, I just had a couple more minutes. And, yeah, you get to memorize them pretty quick. They're pretty yeah. easy names. Yeah. <laughs> right, nice driving kick there. For, oh, nice pass across. They're playing keep away with us now. Hot potato. Kime's going to go for it. They could have called a foul there, but they didn't. That's a lob pass. That's one we wanted to jump on. That pressure was pretty good. We got him to lob up a nice slow pass, but we, we couldn't get to it to pick it off. And 34 is going to get another shot. That's Hoover. Emma Hoover is going to be back on the free throw line for the Northfield North. 17 seconds left, 13-point lead. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to tally up some of these You're points. Fine. She misses the first back iron. And this is the first time she's been in the line all game, too. <laughs> 17 seconds left. Got, oh, she has a nice shot, but that one didn't fall for her either. Her form, I mean, uh, looks, looks, uh, looks strong. Couldn't get either one to drop. 15.9 seconds to see what the Warriors do with it. Into Kime against the 2-3 zone. Hunt offers a screen. Kime launches from deep. Cobbler with the offensive rebound. Can't oh, no get it good. to go. By, uh, Kime with the offensive rebound. Can't get it to go. Cobbler with the offensive rebound. And officials are just going to let time expire instead of call another foul. That's going to be it. Uh, yeah, the Northfield wins the conference battle with two of the, <coughs> excuse me, two of the teams at the top of the conference. It get the 13-point win on the road at North Miami tonight. And I got a couple of the halftime stats added up here. Uh, for Kime, she had 13 points so far, or for the night. She was one of four from the free throw line, which isn't like her, uh, as we talked about earlier. Uh, and Tinney, she only had four. She was two of three from the line. Freeman, she ended up having six on the night. Uh, you know, it was also a quiet night for her. Didn't get to the line. She's usually always there. Uh, Cobbler had her three. Paul ended up with having five points on the night, three of four from the line. And then Donaldson ended up having only two. And then just another factor for the Warriors tonight that they don't do is uh, turnovers. You know, they were in the, they had 20 turnovers overall the whole game. And that's just something that not used to seeing from them. Um, for uh, Northfield, you know, they kept the turnovers minimal here. They only had eight in the whole game. Um, Area Dale, she had nine, none at the free throw. Key Favor had two. Uh, Kennedy, eight. She was two of five from the free throw line. Uh, Baker had 11 points, one of two from the line. Uh, Emma Hoover, she had six points. She was 0 of two from the line. And Kirsten Stout had six points. Um, but, you know, they had... They were taught very well. You know, they have great skill and talent at yeah. that level, and I I can't wait to watch them go to like head to head there with Valley. It'll be an interesting yeah. clash. Yeah, they got a great ball club. I was impressed with them for reasons I mentioned again. They they have a, a lot of fundamental players that are seem strong and and athletic. They work well together. Their spacing is always solid. They they're always on the same page defensively. It seemed like. Um, you know, we, I think the, the Lady Warriors can beat that team, but Northfield earned the victory tonight. Uh, I think the Warriors have to keep in mind that things didn't go well early. Some of those early shots didn't fall, and when you're playing a really good opponent, you, 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 um, it hurts to see, to see their lead grow yeah. and, and, and to struggle so much to get some, some early points on the board. And I, I think if a couple of those shots fall, then our confidence stays a little higher. We handle things a little differently, and maybe we have a different outcome. But, uh, but I think the experience. Uh, we mentioned the five seniors on, on uh, the Northfield roster compared to the one on the Lady Warriors, and they, like I mentioned, they were the better team tonight. And uh, with that, we'll end this all off. Uh, Northfield 46, Warriors 33. It's been great having you here. Um, Again, I was your play-by-play, -play, Jacob Sherboff. Com color commentator was uh, Matt Storm, and then behind the computer was uh, Colton. Uh, he, you know, he's always been here. Got to depend on him. <laughs> but that, thanks for watching here at RTC TV4. We'll see you back.